Zebby's Little Audios. Ah, <laughs> uh, what happened? Ah, oh, my head. Ah, oh, did I pass out? Little one? Hi, little one. Hey, <laughs> what's daddy doing here? On the couch. And not in his bed. <sighs> what? I did what last night? I turned into a werewolf. A werewolf, little one. <laughs> oh, my head. Ugh. Little one, don't be silly. Werewolves don't exist. I tried to attack you. What? I tried to attack you? Little one, are you serious? No, I would never hurt my baby. I would never hurt you, sweetie. But I try to. And you tell me I wasn't myself. I was a werewolf. <laughs> Little one. That's a bit ridiculous, don't you think? I mean, like I said, werewolves don't exist. Maybe you had a bad dream. Maybe... Ugh. It doesn't explain why I'm on the couch. Uh, did I pass out last night? What? You're joking. I've been asleep for 22 hours? Ugh. That doesn't make any sense. Why do I feel so tired and... Why does my head hurt so much? You tell me I fell down and I hit my head? I guess that's why my head's pounding right now. Ugh. Hmm. Are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? You know, maybe you imagined that I turned into a werewolf? Little one, you have to admit your imagination gets a little wild and crazy sometimes, don't you think? What? You're insisting that it's true. Little one, please don't lie to daddy. What? This doesn't make any sense to me. And I went back into... my normal human form... before I passed out. Are you sure of this? I hope you're not fibbing to me. You have such a wild imagination, after all. Wait. My hand. I was bitten last night. I remember. There was... There was some kind of dog, and it... It attacked me. Ah. <sighs> Little one, did you change my bandages? <laughs> Little one, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think all these Scooby-Doo bandages on my hand is going to hold very well, little one. No, baby. Oh my gosh. You're so silly. And very sweet. Thank you, baby. You didn't have to change my bandages for me. You said they ripped off? When I transformed. <laughs> Little one, how long are you going to keep this up for? Werewolves don't exist. I'm telling you. What? Go look in the mirror and look at my eyes. Little one, you're being so ridiculous. 
Now you're saying my eyes don't look right? Fine. I'll go look. What? This can't be. My eyes, they look... Yellow. Bloodshot. Ugh. Little one. Are you pulling a prank on me? <gasps> Little one, don't cry. I'm sorry, baby. You have to understand, it's just a little hard to believe, you know? It's just so bizarre. How do I know you're not just fibbing? Pulling daddy's leg? A prank, even? How do I know? <sighs> Alright, please stop crying. Alright. I hear you, baby. It's just so hard to believe it. Alright, let's just say this did happen. Exactly how you're telling me last night. Tell me every detail. Start to finish. You said I came home. I had the bite on my hand. I went to the bathroom to wash my hand. We cuddled for a little bit. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, and when I came back, I didn't look right. How did I look? Like a werewolf. Little one. That's so bizarre. And then I... I was hairier than normal, you're telling me. And I started to transform even further into some kind of monster. Are you sure about this? And I chased you around the house? And I stopped myself? When I saw you crying. Those eyes. Those sad little eyes. I remember. I'm remembering it. No, this can't be. Why do I remember it? It's in bits and pieces, but I just remember your face. And then I passed out? I fell to the floor. Little one, why didn't you call the hospital or something, like an ambulance? Yeah. You didn't think they would believe you. Huh? Just like... Just like I don't believe you. Oh, little one. I'm sorry, I... I you know, I don't know if it's the truth, but... Something must have happened last night, because... I just, I don't remember a lot of it. I didn't get drunk, did I? I didn't drink at all. I, I was sober. I was fine. I didn't hurt you, did I? Oh, thank God. Good. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to do about this. I, I, I don't know what they would say. I mean, a doctor would probably, like, laugh in my face. I mean, what do you do about this situation? Like, what doctor would I go to to treat a werewolf curse? <laughs> Certainly not like a veterinarian, right? Like for a dog? Little one. <laughs> what do you mean? You've been doing research. You found somebody? Who? A doctor that specializes in this. She lives up in the mountains. <sighs> Maybe that's... That's a bit ridiculous, don't you think? 
So you want me to go see this random woman that lives on top of the mountain to take care of my werewolf curse? <laughs> oh my gosh. Little one, this is so bizarre. You have to understand. I mean, it's just so surreal to me. Like, I don't get it. Like, this actually happened. I've never seen you be so persistent on something. Something so bizarre, and the problem is I can't even prove it wrong. Tell me about this doctor. They live on the mountain, and they specialize in what exactly? Werewolf bites? None of one. Huh. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll agree to go get checked out by this doctor. But you're coming with me. <laughs> Would you think Daddy would leave you home unattended? No, you're coming with me. <sighs> I just hope I'm okay. And, um, I'm sorry about last night. You know, you seem very scared and... I must have done something. I'm sorry, little one. For your sake, I'm going to go get checked out. Okay? Okay. Good. Now, I think I need some water. And I think I need to lay back down. My head's killing me. <laughs> I promise I won't eat you. No, I won't. <laughs>